Hi, this is a quick video on using Google Forms as an exit ticket. And you may already be doing this, but Google Forms is a really simple way of gathering student responses. Could be quizzes, homework, but exit tickets a good quick way uh, for short answer. Um, you can also, they can add files, they could add images. Um, so there's some more flexibility uh, to that, maybe than a paper pencil. Um, or even just a standard multiple choice checkbox, text box response. So uh, actually, I'm going to show you or use one of the templates that was in the article linked above from the teacher toolkit. So on the right side here, there were some templates. One of them is an editable Google form. Uh, so we're going to go here. It's going to force copy that exit ticket. And again, you could create your own from scratch going to Google Forms, but here's just a one that was a template that was available. Um, and it's the exit ticket. There's a title slide or title spot, spot for your name that's required, which is important. We want to check that. And then just a quick type the question. The nice benefit of uh, Google Forms is you can go to the responses tab and you could sort those responses then uh, by each student or by each question. Um, if you're depending on your aptitude with Google Sheets, you could then uh, have those responses come in to a spreadsheet. Um, and if you set up some conditional formatting, you could flag in colors certain responses. So similar to the previous video in the Socrative video where, um, or Socratic video, where it uh, showed you responses and it colored them based on, I didn't know, I fully got it. Uh, you could set up in your sheet the same type of thing to color code in that spreadsheet, those flags ahead of time. That would be kind of an advanced tech move. Um, but you could also go and you could create your own Google form from scratch by opening a new window and then coming and finding the old purple form there and opening it up and creating uh, your own template or your own uh, exit ticket. They have a template here as well in Google Forms. Um, the nice part about um, Google Forms, again, with its flexibility, when you add a question, uh, here's the important thing. Okay, it's a long X answer text, but when I add, I can also add the ability to put in a video or an image or um, in a question. Uh, I could allow um, a file upload right here um, as an option besides the short answer or the paragraph. So if you want to do file upload, kids could upload a picture or something that they produced as part of that. So again, that's using Google Forms as an exit ticket.